Hi there. How would you like to be more spiritually mature? I am going to share with you some information to help you become more spiritually mature today. So this is information that's going to help mums and coaches and leaders and educators of any sort, anybody that has any sort of power of influence on other people, okay? Because you can help people um, become more mature and learn, okay? Why is it important for us to become more spiritually mature? Well, it helps us be wise. It helps us be more intuitive. Who doesn't want to do that, right? Who doesn't want to become more, um, you know, in smart and, and wise? It helps us work smarter, not harder. Overall, it will help us become happier. It'll help us have better relationships with people and feel more peace and rest. All right, we don't have to run like a chook with our heads off. Okay, if that is what you wanna learn, stick with me. For those who don't know me, hello, my name is Jade Bolden and I help women create more peace, power and purpose. I help people um, in this community and create this community for these women who are spiritually mature um, because they love God. Okay, and we are here to help one another. So I get this privilege every single week to coach and mentor a lot of women. And one of the biggest problems that I find in these sessions is that they struggle to have some, uh, you know, have control over their abilities to progress and move forward. Okay, so this is a real struggle and sometimes they think it's because, um, you know, they are stubborn or something. There's something wrong with them. They are unable to take action that's necessary to move them ahead. Um, they can't make the changes and it's taking so long uh, and they want to create these ideal results and you know it's just such a struggle. So what I'm going to share with you today is information that I share with these ladies okay to help them move ahead. All right so this is what you want to remember. Head, heart and hands. Head, heart and hands. Okay that's the order in which we learn. So I want to share with you how to learn how to learn, right? The true way of learning. Okay, so when we learn how to learn, we're able to apply information and take the actions we need. And it's gonna be a natural process and you'll be confident in your ability to take action. Okay, so you know how these women um, have this desire to change and move ahead. Well, learning how to learn, like this is the true meaning of empowering people. All right, this is what it is. It's working smarter, not harder. We're able to gather information and apply it faster once we get this skill down. So, like I said earlier, sometimes people think, am I stubborn? You know, because I have to keep learning these same lessons over and over. I don't get it. I don't know why I'm not taking the action. I don't know why I'm not seeing the changes that I need. Um, so they think that they're seven, right? But I think of it as more a matter of not knowing how uh, the skills to learn properly, okay? They, they lack that skill of obtaining information, filtering, and then integrating and taking that action, right? And I'll show you how to do that today, all right? You know, if we think that we're stubborn, then the, I guess, the belief behind that is there's something wrong with us. And we know that there's nothing wrong with us because Heavenly Father created us perfectly, right? We all have the ability to choose to and to create. So let's learn how to learn properly, right? The true way of learning so that we get the information down faster and then we can get a move on, right? So let's start with stage one. Stage one is the ability to open your mind and learn. Okay, most people can do that. They can take in information. They can get information from books and lectures and experience, and then they, they collect evidence for both sides of the argument. That's learning. Okay, you got information and you can even recall information. But, you know, don't be fooled because just because you can recall information doesn't necessarily mean you've actually learned that information, right? You haven't actually learned the principle. So it's kind of like someone going to church and they've got all the Sunday school answers, you know, great, 
but you really haven't applied it to your life necessarily. So it's that, you know, that that's why, you know, people like Jesus Christ and church leaders, they repeat the same information over and over and over again, because people need to learn how to integrate that information. Okay. And that takes effort. That takes agency. Okay. So the first step of learning is just obtaining information and it is not applied yet. Okay. Just putting it in their head. And sometimes people think that if they learn more and learn more, they're going to get better. They're going to, um, you know, be able to take action. So they take all these courses and they overthink and overthink and they live here in stage one. All right. So there is a scripture about that and it says ever learning and ever coming to the truth of things. Okay. And, and they fool themselves into thinking that they know a lot of stuff, but really they haven't learned. Okay. So I challenge you to apply the information that you're learning as you go. Okay. So learn how to put things in, in files and stuff. And I have a video about this and that you can um, watch, but I'm just going to give you the brief overview today. So now that you have information, let's go to stage two, stage two of learning. This requires effort. Everyone can use, um, you know, their energy, their power to, to move themselves to stage two, I believe. Okay. But they just don't know that it, it exists. And, and so they, they, they don't do it. Right. And that's why we, we become hypocrites or, you know, moms say, Hey kids, you should know better. Right. They do know, but they haven't learned to engage their heart. So now step two is engaging your heart. Hmm. So this is the stage where you come to God and then you have a conversation with him after you've like thought things through a little bit with your mind. Okay. So you're using your God given intelligence and then sorting it out and then, you know, having this uh, dialogue with heavenly father. Okay. You feel, you pray and you, you talk. All right. So this is what I teach my children because it helps them not be confused about the world. It helps them not be deceived. Okay, whatever your teacher's teaching, guys, filter it through your heart. Make sure you know what feels right and what feels wrong and get rid of the stuff that feels wrong. And I trust that they can do this because I can do it. Right? And Heavenly Father has told us to do it, so obviously they can. So my kids come home and, and share with me sometimes things that they, the, they learn is like me, you know, and so things that they, they learn is true, they will, they'll share it. Okay, so this is how you can discern truth. Okay, the truth that's from God that is good. And you know, you can discern whether it's not from God and it's not um, good for you. And you can actually see, because once you start integrating, you can actually see the fruit, you feel good, you see the results, okay? And you know, I tell people that this takes time. It doesn't mean it takes a lot of time, but it does take time. So let's create time for it. We can create time. Um, so in essence, it means we need to go slow to go fast. Right. How would you like that? Just, you know, slow down. You don't have to rush. Go slow to, to go fast because you learn to um, get this skill down and it becomes faster and faster as you get good at this. OK, so take the time to filter information through your heart. OK, be confident in your heart. <laughs> get out of your head and move that information down to your heart and feel. OK, allow the flow. And in reality, it's it's more like head, heart, and then the heart goes, ooh, and then the head, you send the information up to the head again, and the head goes, oh, yep, go back, and it kind of flows that way, all right, a, a little bit there before you move on to the step three, okay? So um, the step two is basically filter and discern information. So, you know, we, we tell people to discern and use your power of discernment, and sometimes we don't describe and help people understand what it really looks like and what it really is. So here it is. You discern with your heart. So you're feeling, you're allowing your heart to feel, and then you get to choose what you want to anchor. You're like, mm, this principle feels right. Boom. I don't know about this one yet. I don't know. I'll just put this over here. Um, and then you get to interpret and decide the meaning of your experiences. Um, I think it was T. Harv that says that nothing has meaning until you give meaning to it. So that means, you know, whatever experiences that you have in the world, you get to sit down and go, that was a good experience, or I learned all these positive things, or that was the worst day of my life, right? You get to choose. Um, and you, know, you can see that with people when they have 
the same experiences one person can be like that it was positive and somebody else says well that was really hard right we get to choose we really have that power so here is how you know you've got the power to choose because you get to interpret it however you want okay so interpreting giving meaning this is a time that you ponder with God right feel you know the truth of things allow it to anchor deeply make that connection to God right people who make the connection to God they have more light more love more power and you know them you know them even looking at them or touching them you know them okay and then you know make sure that you keep your heart open you are flexible to what you learn because Heavenly Father will throw things in there and say hey you know here's how you understand it better and you think oh that is brilliant that that does make sense right so when you do it well your heart and it's anchored in God becomes this compass that guides you and you know as a mum I thought what makes a good mum well I learned from God that a good mum helps her children hear God feel him listen to him be obedient to him and take the actions that's it and that's none of the other things in the world okay so we can anchor our hearts in God and so we have this this compass that guides us so parents right you need to allow your children to be alone with God and when I learned that I was like that's brilliant because it's not all on me right encourage them to find their own answers explore right don't give them all the answers don't tell them what to do all the time right teach them principles help them explore and experiment on the Word of God while they're still under your roof okay when they're here and they have this opportunity to explore and you get to guide that's exciting all right so see faith promoting experiences in your daily life so I'll give you an example recently one of my daughters she had an opportunity to go on a big trip it's very expensive so she comes and tells my husband and I about it and we're like whoa that that's big right that's, that's exciting um, but before we said no or just jumped into it and say well we can't afford we said hey why don't you go and pray about it I feel God's um, answers we will pray about it too and we'll come together and we'll see what God says so we came together later on and um, we asked her I asked her how do you feel about it and she said I feel so good and these are the reasons why I think I need to go all right this feels so right and I said look I prayed too and I felt like it was the right decision so we looked at each other and like felt like hmm now what let's pray about um, how we can pay for this trip right and we figured out how and and we kind of got got the money right and it took a while but we got the money so <laughs> this experience right it was amazing because I could have said well too much money you know and we can't afford it right but this experience was amazing because it helped my daughter develop more faith it helped her have a more you know more intuition more um, confident in, in her ability to manifest right she has um, a greater loyalty to God she wants to answer to God more because she knows him she feels him she knows what he sounds like okay and that means we can get rid of um, the the need to please people okay because we, you know we had to pray about where to go so she had a trip but then she had some options so all of that was so faith promoting and I was excited about it because you know if we had have used our brain we're like well where are we gonna get the money how are we gonna you know but then if God says yes do it and you think oh okay I will and how do I manifest it where do I go what do I do he guides and it's so exciting and brilliant so for those people who have a hard time with you know trusting their heart and trusting themselves I've got two oils for you the first one is coriander you take this internally it helps you cleanse your body it kind of helps you feel your your gut instincts okay so because you need to kind of let your heart lead right um, and this oil helps you have more in um, integrity for yourself honoring yourself more so you have a stronger sense of hang on that doesn't feel right or hang on that feels really good so you're more sensitive to that okay so take this 
coriander internally and be true and honor yourself okay some of us have such a high tolerance for drama we're like okay with like all of these negative things and, and fights and disagreements and arguments and darkness why you know it's because they they just shut down their hearts they don't let themselves feel and so they don't even know they feel uncomfortable and that's the norm so now you will feel your heart more acutely and you get to honor it more okay um, so that's coriander the other oil is geranium so you want to apply geranium over your heart and then allow your heart to feel love um, allow yourself to love yourself and allow um, yourself to trust your heart sometimes people don't trust themselves and they they hear their parents say I don't trust you um, and they don't trust that they can make good decisions and that is not true um, with God as your anchor um, you can make powerful decisions and sometimes it might feel like it's like kind of like bizarre and different but you know as you you know ponder over it and anchor in your heart suddenly you get all these enlightenments and and strategies and ideas and you think oh it, it looks like it might be able to happen and oh I like this okay so use this especially for boys if you have boys um, help them you know apply it over to their heart often because you don't want them to adopt the toxic masculinity uh, culture and shut down their feelers okay um, it, you know big boys don't cry you know syndrome that's that's not good that's not good because this is how we communicate with God and how we become wise and spiritually mature okay we gotta feel right so when we have done it right okay our heart um, will be used to feeling right and this skill we need to get it down right because the feeling that we feel is going to be peace so we feel like that brings me peace that does not bring me peace I'm not gonna do that right and it's exactly what Jesus said in John 14 27 let me read this it says peace I leave with you peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid so you know when you feel like your heart is troubled and it's kind of afraid then know that it's not from God all right know that you haven't anchored and filtered through and checked in with God you need to ponder some more if you do step two well you will naturally know when it's time to do step three right and step three is basically taking action right and it's a natural step from this you know heart driven driven sensation you're you're so passionate and uh, empowered that you're like okay I know what to do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make it happen I'm gonna manifest right so this is you truly um, you know being empowered this is what it really means okay and I believe the scripture um, in Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28 it reads come unto me all ye that are that labor and are heavy laden I will give you rest so when you know we're doing it with God we're doing it energetically we are you know energized and fueled and it doesn't feel like we're carrying a heavy load anymore especially in parenting you don't have to feel that burden right Heavenly Father will carry that burden you just need to check in and ask what do I do next you know what do I do in this situation as a, a leader as a business owner same thing when you've learned to connect um, I had a friend she, she's like you know what after I learned um, what you told me to do to connect she's like I feel like I have to connect to God for everything but it gets easier because it's very you know quick but you know check in a little bit and 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 then she says everything flows and I'm like exactly that's how it should be so we should keep that connection going okay so um, when we are doing it with God okay things are easy and less overwhelming so when we're not doing it with God it, even the simplest things can overwhelm us like we can't do it right and we're like oh, what you know th this is just so easy but ah why is it hard look at she can do this and this and this and he, he can do it. Oh, why can't I it's because we haven't learned to filter it through our heart and allow our heart to burn burn with that passion burn with the power that can compel us and drive us to action and it's going to be natural so this is how we mature up guys this is how we become more spiritually mature 
when we hear, learn, when we filter and anchor and discern with our heart and we just take action. Okay, this is how we do that. All right, that's, that's pretty much it. This is what I teach my kids and my friends. So, you know, for those people who, you know, always, you know, are hard on themselves and they keep punishing themselves, that is just you trying to um, self-correct and check, with, check yourself. Okay, we don't have to beat ourselves up so much when we can filter and discern and when we discern well, we're confident, right? And there's no need to be pushing ourselves with fear and shame, right? We can actually be pulled by God's divine love, okay? How would you like that? It's so much easier. And you have more peace, you have more rest, and you do things smarter, right? You, you build your business on this peaceful, strong relationship, all right, instead of pushy and running and, and just, you know, being negative. And of course, we have these negative results from it. You know, the Chinese medicine, they say that all the diseases start from the heart. But then also, you know, I think what it means is, you know, everything is driven from the core, the heart. The heart has this magnetic energy and it attracts whatever you set it at. So if you anchor a lot of truth in your heart, you're going to attract a lot of good stuff. Okay, so with the heart cells and tissues is one of the first things that develop as the fetus right um, so you know the heart is super intelligent and it you know has like brain um, you know transmitters uh, you know like the, the brain does so this is your other brain right so you know I truly believe that we need to teach ourselves how to learn properly learn how to learn and then teach our children how to learn in this information era there's a lot of information. How do we know how to filter? Unless we teach our kids this very important skill, it's going to be very hard for them to filter information, right? And they'll be confused and they'll listen to the different voices and the different trends. You don't need that. They don't need that. Your friends don't need that, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be difficult because you can be at peace in your heart. For those people who romanticize dramas and martyrdom and struggle, you know, as if, oh, that's how life is supposed to be. I think they're trying to find excuses um, because they haven't learned to own their energy and move that information from their head down to their heart. Now that you have the skill, we don't need to romanticize that, okay? It's, it's done. It's old, right? We can take this new approach, new perspective, and live for God, right? Dying for God, boom, you know, done. You know, it's a cop out. For us, living for God and living for Christ every single day, that's more effort. That's more, um, you know, intention, all right? And when we have the love that God gives us, we can reflect that love on other people. So that, that for me, is more meaningful, okay? So um, for those people who lack joy, right, it's because you haven't learned to anchor um, the lessons that you need to anchor into your heart well enough, okay? So take your time to do that um, and integrate the principles that you learn from God. And that way, you know, as you, as you get the information, you apply and it just becomes second nature to you um, and you're going to have so much more power. Okay, and then you'll have more joy. <clears throat> okay, so in summary, head, heart, hands. Okay, your hands as you as you do things in, in an inspired way, as you create, as you manifest. All right, that will show you that you've really anchored it well in your heart. Okay, so this is a wonderful skill. I challenge you to ponder over this a little bit. Okay, and then apply this and tell me what you think. Please comment below. Tell me if this was helpful for you. If this was, you know, a, a skill that you were missing. Okay, um, please tell your friends about this and teach them too. I want to hear you from you. I want to be your friend. And, you know, if you have ideas of other videos um, that I could, hello there, Helen. If um, you have other ideas of what I can um, make videos about, just let me know, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, we can actually, you know, delve into this information more, right, at retreats 
um, if you join my energy balancing with faith course you can learn more about this all right at retreats this is all we do we practice this skill we learn the principle different principles and we apply the principles and then we do a lot of spiritual cleansing so please like my um, video share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel and friend and like me on facebook and instagram and check out my podcast as well all right thank you so much thank you from the bottom of my heart sending you lots of love light and healing take care bye for now